Let's use steganography to hide something inside something else. And there are a number of ways, but the first way we're going to try is to take a simple plain ASCII text file created with Notepad and hide something else inside of it. So let's first just create a text file. I have a folder and I'm on my host. You can do this on a VM, you can do this on your host, it doesn't matter. So I have um, created a folder and the folder is called steganography. You can call it whatever you like. Um, the reason why I did this is so that we're not typing really long paths when we do this because we need a command prompt. So I have snow. It's a standalone executable. It does not install. And I am just going to right click and I'm going to create a new text file. And it'll just be a plain old text file using notepad. I'll just call it readme and I'm just going to open it up and I'm just going to type stuff in it. This is super, now this is a very ordinary text file, nothing to see here, sorry. Okay, so I've created some text file, Alt F S, Alt F X. Okay, so I've got that and you can see it's a kilobyte in size, it's smaller than that even, but that's the space it takes up on disk. Now, let's open a command prompt and let's use snow. So we'll open a command prompt here, and I am just going to resize this so it's so you can just kind of see it a little better in the middle of the screen. I'm already in the steganography directory. And how did I get here? I said cd c colon backslash steganography, steganography. And lo and behold, I'm here. When I type dir for directory and press enter, there's snow exe, there's readme.txt. So now I'm just going to say snow slash question or question mark and it gives us the um, the syntax. It says that, that was illegal, but the, the syntax is you say snow and then you say tech capsi to compress and you can be quiet and otherwise. You can put a password on it if you want to. I'm not going to bother. Uh, then you can uh, say tech small m and whatever message you want to hide or tech small f and whatever file you want to hide. Then you say the name of the input file, which is in our case, just readme.txt. And then you will create a separate output file. So usually steganography tools do not modify the original. They'll take the original, they'll hide the message or the whatever it is in the original and create a second file. So that's what we're doing here. So we're gonna say snow, tack cap C, meaning compress, and uh, tack small m message. Um, hide this super secret info. Okay, whatever it is. And then I just need the in file and the out file. The in file is readme.txt, and I'm in the directory where it's at. And then the out file will be readme1.txt. And I can rename it later if I want. Press enter. And it says, okay, we've compressed by 43.52% and your message actually exceeded available space, so we added some lines. Fine. Type dir. I see readme.txt and readme1.txt. Let me go out there, and there's readme1.txt. Now, because this file is so small and the message is so small, they appear to be the same size. And uh, let me just double-click readme1.txt. Looks normal because we've hidden the stuff. Okay, so now to extract the message. We say snow, tack, cap, C, and then just the file that we're, we want to read from. Readme1.txt. Readme1.txt. Press enter. And ta-da, it extracted it. Now we could have done this also with a password. So we could have, let me just up arrow, we could have added a password, which is what, tack, uh, P, and then whatever password string we want. So like we could have gone, Tack P, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a very secure password, right? Enter. And, um, oops, I need to actually change the name here. Sorry about that. We'll call this readme2. And so, enter. Did I do this out of sequence? Oh, <laughs> I did. Up arrow. You know what I did, folks? 
You should have seen that. I tried to insert the password right in the middle of the secret message. That was a bozo no-no. Sorry about that. Let me just fix that. I just put this in the wrong place. So that's the super secret message. And then tack P, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. Enter. All righty, and it says, okay, we've exceeded the available space, blah, 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 was added. And if we look at Snow 2, we open it up, and once again, nothing to see here, sorry. Now, we can't just simply Snow 2, or we can't just simply um, point to Read Me 2. Sorry, I said Snow 2, sorry, Read Me 2. We can't just simply say decompress Read Me 2 because we put a password on it. Press Enter, and it comes out with some garbage because we didn't put in the password. So we have to say snow tack cap C tack P one two three four five six readme two dot text and there it is. We put in the password and it gave it to us. So that is using white space steganography to hide messages inside of other messages or files.